All right, y'all, it's just a little bit after five. I apologize, we're getting started late. Uh, welcome to the Candidate Forum, uh, sponsored by Areawide Media. This is the first one we've ever done. So there will probably be some learning curves, but uh, we're gonna learn from this one and be better prepared for the next election season. We're gonna start out by saying the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you guys wanna stand, the flag is small, but it's right here. So. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, so to kick this off, I'm going to begin with the reading of the biographies that have been submitted. Uh, not all candidates were able to submit, some are out of the country, some are out of the state, some are on vacation, so these are just the ones that we were given. I'm not going to read them in any particular order, uh, just because I'm not that organized. So, um, The first one is Sue Taylor, she's an alderman for Hardy. says, I've lived and worked in Hardy for 40 years plus. My husband has a business in Hardy and to this day. So needless to say, we care, about, we care about Hardy and what our people think about us and our city. We are proud to say that we live here and are, nope, and Sue, sorry, come on. Okay, they love Hardy, sorry about that. Uh, love to hear good things, good compliments we hear from the tourists and the people visiting. I will strive to do the right thing if given the opportunity to serve. Alderman David Bathrick, Hardy. Hardy Alderman candidate was raised in South Florida and moved to Arkansas in 1975. Have lived in Arkansas or have lived in Hardy since 2002. My life, my wife Valerie and I own Bigger's Bed and Breakfast and the Bluff Steakhouse. We were also the owners of Bear, Bru Bear Bluff Craft Mall in Hardy since 1992. All right. Steve Thompson, candidate for Cherokee Village Alderman, Ward 3, Position 2. Married to Kim Thompson for over 30 years. Grandson Sean, eighth grade, lives with them. Resident in Cherokee Village since 1999, previously lived in Houston, Texas for 19 years. Financial advisor Edward Jones Investments, 1996 to present. Federal Series 7, State 66, 63 licensed. Entergy industry management position held including treasurer and corporate officer. With financial positions as contract manager, Chevron International. Continued employment from 1980 to 1996. Received congressional appointment to the U.S. Air Force Academy. University of Arkansas, BSBA, Finance and Banking. Community involvement includes Cherokee Village Kiwanis, past president and current board member, Spring River Chamber of Commerce, Rotary Club of Houston, Cherokee Village Business Association, member of the First Baptist Church of Cherokee Village, Eagle Scout, and board of review member for the local Boy Scout troops. Chairman of the Tommy Bolt Memorial Golf Tournament, member of the committee since inception. Elected to Cherokee Village Alderman position in 2014. Served on budget committee since 2014 to present. Extensive business experience in international contract negotiations, corporate finance, employee retirement plans, portfolio construction and maintenance in assisting nearly 500 families meet their goals. Consults on several corporate retirement plans in Arkansas and Texas. Consults to regional hospitals on improved capital account management. Okay. Daryl Matson is running as a campaign. Is excuse me. Daryl Matson is running a campaign to be mayor of Cherokee Village. Daryl Matson purchased a home in Cherokee Village since 2011, and he and his wife share own and operate two small businesses in the area. They have three children. Joseph, Zachary, and Chloe, and their Siberian Husky, Kenai? Yes. Okay. The Matsons attend First Baptist Church of Cherokee Village. Daryl and Cher are small business owners and understand the hardships and effort it takes to, small, to start a small business and the reward and satisfaction that comes from being successful. It is Daryl's vision to make Cherokee Village a place that is known for being business friendly. 
With an influx of small businesses will come jobs and opportunities for our citizens, as well as an increase in the tax base, which is badly needed. Darrell made a career in manufacturing plants, where he started out at age 18 as a janitor, and over a 30-year period became an electrician and moved into management. He has worked as a maintenance manager for corporations like CMEX, Potlatch, and American Rail Car. He brings years of experience in managing people and multi-million dollar budgets. As a candidate for mayor of Cherokee Village, Daryl plans on making the city government transparent and accountable to the people of Cherokee Village. Cherokee Village had a great past and Daryl wants it to have a great future. All right. Tracy Moore, candidate for city council in Hardy. I was born August 5, 1960 in the small town of Lexington, Tennessee. I was raised in Memphis, Tennessee. After graduating from high school, I went to college in Nashville where I received my bachelor in science degree in elementary education. Following my college graduation, I went to work in my family insurance agency in Memphis. Eventually, I owned and managed my own agency until I sold out to direct insurance company. At Direct, I was hired to manage my own agency branch while also traveling to other agencies to fill in management positions when needed on a temporary basis. On October 14, 1995, I married my husband and best friend, Rick Moore. A few months following our marriage, I resigned my position with Direct Insurance to start my teaching career with Memphis City Schools. Uh, early on in my teaching career, I went back to college to earn my master's degree in education. Rick and I also started a residential rental business, seeing as this future supplemental income we, once we retired. During my latter years as a teacher, my husband and I began working as food vendors at various events throughout Northeast Arkansas, a smoking Rick's barbecue. By this time, we had brought our home to Hardy and knew that this is where we planned to move once I retired from teaching. Working as food vendors would allow a smoother transition from Memphis to Hardy after 18 years. I retired from my teaching position and our move to permanently reside in Hardy was complete. Rick and I continued working events in the area. When the decision was made to make a permanent home for Smoke and Rick's, the dream came true this past May when we moved our business to Hardy, Arkansas, 3844 Highway 6212. As a citizen of Hardy, I've been involved with a variety of local citizen groups and clubs, such as the, the Cherokee Village Swim Club, the County Quilters of Salem, the Art Center of North Arkansas, Tops, the Elks Ladies of Cherokee Village, as well as the Spring River Chamber of Commerce. I'm currently a leader of the local Tops Chapter 239, as well as a board member and member of the Publicity Committee for the Craft Show. No, I'm sorry, I'm off the line. No, for the Art Center of North Arkansas. I am also show director of Treasurer in the Ozarks Arts and Crafts Show. Shortly after moving here, I became a member of the Highland Hills Baptist Church, where I'm a member of the Special Events Committee and the Women's Mission Association. Tim Seeger. I was born and lived till 17 years in Big Rapids, Michigan. As a child, I learned to respect all. I joined the United States Army Infantry in November 1979. I served until March of 1984. I left with an honorable discharge. I then worked in retail grocery and Walmart stores as a manager. I have owned property in Hardy since 1993 and I have lived at 113 Rio Vista Circle since 2012. I have college credits pertaining to superior skills. Supervisor. Thank you, sorry. Pertaining to supervisory skills, <laughs> I have over 15 years of retail management and have supervised 50 employees at a time. Is that correct? Okay, sorry about that. All right. Vicki Rice, uh, who I believe is one of those who was unable to attend tonight. Oh boy. Uh, I was born in Yakoma, Washington. Before I was 20 years old, I relocated to Washington, D.C. to work for the FBI. My late husband, Charlie, and I purchased a home in Cherokee Village in 1986 and eventually retired there. When Charlie died unexpectedly, I decided to start a new career 
manage, and live in the old stone house bed and breakfast located on Main Street in Hardy. My three grown children and one grandchild are scattered around the USA. Heather in Columbus, Ohio, Michelle in Atlanta, Georgia, Todd in Dallas, Texas, and granddaughter Lauren in Los Angeles, California. On a community involvement level, I am a past president and active member since 1998 of the Cherokee Village Lions. I am the chair of the Lions Committee currently working with the City of Hardy to implement a handicapped swing set in our beautiful Oberg Park. I am also a past chair of the Christian Women's Club and I am proud to have coordinated the Peacemakers Quilt Group for Cherokee Village Lutheran Church for almost 14 years. This group has given away locally all, over 4,000 quilts to those in need. I am also a past commissioner and chairman of the Hardy AMP. As the incumbent councilwoman for Ward 1, Seat 1, this election, I know Hardy will continue to grow and I would like to continue to work for an organized and positive growth. I also wish to be re-elected in order to finish work programs for those who attend the Hardy City Council meetings. You know that much progress has been made in implementing ordinances and policy that improve Hardy for businesses and residents alike. Our mayor, with a council vote of four yeas, one absent, and one abstain, made sure that going forward with the city would have clean water. I am proud to have been a small part of all the accomplishments that have and will happen to move, forward, to move our city forward. These goals, along with other new goals, will be accomplished by continuing to work well with my fellow city councilmen and our mayor. When asked what I enjoy about living in the Spring River area, I respond, I love the people and I love the southern hospitality displayed by most. I love serving my guests at the B&B and have lived in DC metro area. I love being able to look up at the sky and see the stars at night and blue clear skies during the day. These all never ending joys to me. I appreciate the opportunity to serve the residents and business owners of Hardy and ask for your support and vote in the coming election. I welcome any calls from voters to discuss the issues of concern or interest. And then she provides a phone number. If you'd like that, you can get with me after. <coughs> Only like nine more. Uh, Nimi Desai. I'm originally from South Africa where I graduated high school and college. Worked until 1993, owned a bookkeeping practice before settling in the U.S in 1994. Started working in the hotel industry in March of 1994, working my way to owning my hotel. Worked with several chains including Hampton Inn, Econo Lodge, Ramada Inn, Red Roof Inn, Days Inn, Super 8, and Best Western. Worked in Manchester, Tennessee, Fort Worth, Texas, Chicago, Illinois, and moved to Hardy in 2001. Now owning and managing the village inn of Hardy, formerly the Best Western Village Inn. I've served on the SRACC as a board member in 2009 for about six months. I'm serving on the Hardy AMP Commission, or I, have, I, I am serving since 2009. I am currently volunteering six hours a week at the City of Hardy. I've been volunteering my services to events in Hardy, a few that involved, excuse me, a few that I volunteered at include Hardy Fire Department pan camp, Pancake Breakfast, Hardy Fireman's Fair, Easter Egg Hunt, Treasures in the Ozark, Sharp County Sheriff's Department raffle ticket sales, and Hardy Christmas Parade. Hardy's Halloween Bash, Trick or Treat Downtown Hardy, a project and event created and organized by myself along with Miss Linda Herring five years ago. I have supported and contributed toward many different charitable projects as needed and will continue to do so. I had the good fortune and honor of being the Grand Marshal at the Hardy Christmas Parade in 2017. I was nominated in 2017 for the E. Wilson Greed Award by the Spring River Area Chamber of Commerce. There is an abundance of young talent which needs to be tapped and recognized and encouraged. I urge parents to communicate the importance of education to their children, and the children need to understand that education is mandatory, not an option. All right. Billy J. Suiters, City clerk for Cherokee Village. Billy J. Suiters has lived in Cherokee Village for two years with her husband, Sean Suiters, and four children, Brittany, Toby, William, and Jillian. She has a long career in public and private service studded with accomplishments. She served as a sergeant in the Iraq War, since, since then returned home to serve as a civil servant in the areas of federal government. 
During her time in the federal government, she continued to serve her country fellow veterans. This included service as a transition coordinator for the U.S. Army, where she assisted over 200 soldiers returning from the from returning injured from war with job and education assistance. She was selected from 180 disabled veterans to attend the Warriors to Workforce program in the inaugural class with the Department of Veteran Affairs to achieve a level two federal contracting certificate as well as a bachelor's degree in business from Mount St. Mary's University in Emmitsburg, Maryland. While serving with the Department of Veteran Affairs, she spearheaded the Prosthetics and Consignment Contracting Department, creating the first nationwide prosthetics contracts to be used by the Department of Veteran Affairs. She then changed to the U.S. Air Force, serving as a contracting officer lead for the Central, or excuse me, Contract Field Team at six Air Force bases in the U.S., managing over six billion dollars defense weapons contracts. Where she, where, where she retired from the federal service in December of 2016. In her off time, Billy has contributed time and effort within several nonprofit organizations. She served as the president of the Lucky Ladies Riding Association for seven years. As president, she raised several thousand dollars that were donated to battered women and children. She also established three other charters of the Lucky Ladies in the state of Utah and Kentucky. Billy is also very dedicated to her fellow veterans. She serves as the Northeast Service Officer for the Arkansas American Legion. She is accredited by the Department of Veteran Affairs as a Veteran Services Officer. She volunteers numerous hours to help veterans and their families receive assistance with their veterans' claims. Billy is running for clerk for city clerk of Cherokee Village because she feels that her experience and dedication to serving others will be vital to the city. With the knowledge and experience in records administration, records management, budget administration, and extensive computer knowledge, Billy is very dedicated and committed to helping bring the city clerk office into the 21st century. Right. Russ Stokes. I have been mayor for four years, a Cherokee Village property owner for, for 35 years, and a 21-year resident. I graduated from the University of Missouri with a bachelor's and master's degree and completed additional postgraduate work. I have published in professional journals and magazines, plus worked five years as an educational consultant following retirement. I have 28 years administrative experience in secondary education supervising 150 employees with a budget of $5 million. My past civic activities include President of a 25-member University of Missouri alumni chapter in St. Louis, Missouri on its national board, Scottish Rite Foundation board member working with a $3 million endowment, Chamber of Commerce executive board member in St. Louis County serving a population of 100,000, plus a regional municipal improvement board member. I received numerous honors during my professional career and was nominated for Arkansas AARP Service Award for Volunteerism to our city. Locally, chaired the Village Pride Committee 13 years and currently serve as secretary. During my tenure as chairman, we enhanced the town center area doing tree work initiated by the Cherokee Village banners on the four lane and around the city cleared and rehabbed the Raccoon Springs site, landscaped the town center event site sign, cleared, additional, cleared additions to Adahi Trail and the spillway with countless man hours in, in chainsaw work, cleared multiple vistas around the city, assisted in the construction of adopt spots when that program began, worked illegal dump sites cleanup for seven years prior to being involved with to city being involved, initiated renovation of Star Falls Gazebo in 1999, installed numerous birdhouses at locations around the city, coordinated funding and cleanouts of the water course adjacent to the community park, directed and assisted with construction of signage at the south entrance corners, designed the city flag dedicated in 1998, initiated Village Pride Volunteer Recognition Luncheon, coordinated revision of the city map viewed on the exterior of City Hall, and continued to assist the committee with its monthly maintenance projects. 
I served 10 years on city council from 2003 to 2012. City projects I worked were fundraised for the event sign, initiating a special budget inspection of low water bridges, which resulted in work that extended the life of these structures served on the coordinating committee that established the city as a firewires community, assisted in securing the first street A grant, personally placed reflective tape on connecting arterial street sign posts so they would be visible at night, provided orientation training for newly elected officials and was instrumental in civic work necessary for Cherokee Village to be recognized as a volunteer community of the year in 2006 and 2016. My wife is Betty Stokes, an extraordinary woman and dedicated community volunteer. I am a Shriner and 33rd degree Mason, avid college fo football fan, golfer, hunter, civic volunteer, plus manage a farm and operate where I grew up in Missouri. If duly re-elected as mayor, I will continue the same dedication and effort, responsible leadership, and sweat equity which I have given to any project I am involved in in order to enhance the city of Cherokee Village and improve the quality of life for its residents. How are we doing on time? Pushing it. Yeah, I'm not a speed reader. <laughs> Learn for next time, right? All right. Deb Weichinger, Weichinger, thank you, I never could say her name right. Deb Weichinger, Cherokee Village City Clerk. I, your city clerk, Deb Weichinger, was born and raised in the south suburbs of Chicago. My husband Terry and I moved to Cherokee Village in August of 2006 from the south suburbs. Prior to our move to Cherokee Village, I managed and did the bookkeeping for businesses that Terry and I owned. I also served as treasurer and office manager of the Town Home Association where we lived prior to moving. I was appointed city clerk in February of 2017 to fill a vacancy with, a two, with two years remaining of the four-year term. Shortly after being appointed to the position, I attended a two-day ACCRTA workshop to learn about the tasks of my new appointment. I, am also, I also attended a week-long Municipal Clerks Institute in Fayetteville to expand my knowledge and understanding of the city clerk's responsibilities. While at these training sessions, I met with many other clerks with whom I network. I am proud to be a member in good standing with the ACCRTA. City clerks have lots of rules to follow. I am familiar with FOIA, the City of Cherokee Village's ordinances and resolutions, my working relationship with the city employees and the general public make me the best and most experienced choice for Cherokee Village. My attention to detail and accuracy is critical in maintaining the city's permanent records, including minutes, resolutions, ordinances, and recording all receipts of incoming monies to the city. My husband Terry and I are members of the Village Bible Church in Cherokee Village. I serve as the, as the church treasurer. I am also an active board member of Fountain Place. I have enjoyed learning the many facets of what is involved in being the city clerk of Cherokee Village and I enjoy my work with the city of Cherokee Village. And with your vote, I look forward to my first elected term. All right. Ruth Rogers, who is running for JP District 5, um, could not be here tonight, so I'm just going to read this. Ruth Rogers is running for Justice of the Peace, Richwood District. I have an associate's degree in political science and a true interest in representing my friends and neighbors in District 5. I'm married to Gary Rogers, who serves as the Veterans Officer for Sharp County. I have attended and covered hundreds of quorum court meetings as I was the reporter for the local media outlet. I'm very familiar as to how the court operates and some of the trials and issues that have affected our county over the years. I have served as an officer on the Cherokee Village Facilities Board for 19 years, and this has given me the experience in bond issues, heavy equipment purchasing, maintenance, operations, and replacement of equipment. As a former business co-owner in Sharp and Fulton County, I am experienced in hiring, insurance, and bookkeeping. I retired from FNBC in 2015 as the director of the Passport Club. 
I am not afraid to talk and I am not afraid to listen. I will work hard to be your voice in District 5 and would appreciate your vote. Thank you. All right, Gary Lawrence, uh, JP District 2, I believe also could not be here tonight. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Gary Lawrence and I am running for Sharp County Justice of the Peace District 2. I live in Cherokee Village with my wife, Carol Ann, and I have lived in Sharp County since I graduated high school. I operate a business in the county. I'm a retired veteran, proudly serving in both the Arkansas Army National Guard and the Naval Air Reserve. As a veteran, I believe it is very important to exercise our right to vote and choose the candidate you believe to best represent your interest on the quorum court. If elected, I can promise that I will represent all of the residents of District 2 regardless of the party. I believe strongly in being active in the community both as a way to be informed on issues confronting the county and offering what I can to improve the county and our region. I have in the past been an alderman for the city of Hardy, a founding member of the Spring River Home Builders Association and served as representative to the state board, president and board member of the Spring River Entertainment Association. As I currently serve as a board member of the White River Planning and Development District, Board of North Central Arkansas Workforce Development, former chairman of Ozarka College Foundation, still a board member, and board member of the White River Regional Housing Development Corporation. I respectfully request your vote in November. He provided a phone number, so if you want it, catch me after. All right, last two. Renee Clay Circle was born and raised in Hardy. She graduated from Arkansas State University with a degree in business. She is married to Nathan Circle and has four children. Amy, who is in law school, Katie, who rodeos, Austin is in the 10th grade, and Miley is in the 4th grade. Renee owns and operates several successful businesses in Sharp County, including three funeral homes. In rural Arkansas, Renee believes it is the funeral homeowner's responsibility to serve as coroner because a funeral home has the equipment and storage areas to hold. Renee has taken this responsibility seriously and has over 300 hours of certified training from the Arkansas Law Enforcement Training Academy and the Arkansas State Crime Lab. She is an Arkansas certified meteorological death investigator, aquatic death and homicidal investigator, and a sudden unexplained infant death investigator. All the certified, all certified through the state of Arkansas. Renee was endorsed by Sharp County Sheriff Mark Counts as the best candidate for this position. Okay. Everett McGuire. Everett is running for District 6, Justice of the Peace. Everett McGuire is running for re-election as Justice of the Peace, 6th District, Sharp County, Arkansas, as a Republican. McGuire was raised where the Highland High School is presently located. That's cool. Uh, it was an apple and peach orchard at the time. He attended first grade in Highland and then attended Ash Flat where the schools were consolidated. His father, Burt McGuire, established the Assembly of God Church in Highland. At 17, Everett joined the U.S. Army and retired after 20 years active duty service, then returned to the area. With the help of the GI Bill, he has completed 180 hours of college credits. McGuire served as Justice of the Peace, 6th District, from 2008 to 2010 and was re-elected in 2016 to present. He and his wife, Fran, live 4.5 miles west of Williford on Highway 58 and are active in the Pleasant Ridge Community Church, where, where is the superintendent? Everett McGuire would appreciate your vote on this election cycle if you have any questions. Uh, where you need a ride to the voting center, contact Everett. Okay. And he also provided a phone number. Bring it to me. He also provided a phone number, so if you want that, you can catch me or him after. Thank you, Brandon. All right. That's Brianna. Uh, I'm Brianna DiOrio. I'm running for re-election as Justice of the Peace in District 2, Cherokee Village. In the past two years, I've dedicated my time to become knowledgeable about the county budget, which is one of the main responsibilities of a Justice of the Peace of the Quorum Court. I was elected by the other Justices of the Peace to represent Sharp County at the statewide association of counties. 
I attend seminars around the state to obtain information about the issues that concern the county and report back to the county judge about what I've learned. I've lived in Cherokee Village for 11 years. I've been married for 24 years and have four children and four grandchildren. God, family, and community, these are my priorities and what guide my life. I am honest and truthful. I will listen to the citizens' concerns and try to solve them to the best of my ability. I'm a team player and can work with anyone for a common goal. Unity is very important on all levels. I am passionate about serving the citizens of Shark County in this position. I would appreciate your vote in November. All right. Yours is in the paper, in this paper? Yeah. Okay, hang on a sec. Do you know where? Seth, that your announcement, is that what you want me to read? Okay. All right. Dear Sharp County, my name is Seth Wortham and I am running for county coroner. Being raised in Sharp County all my life, I have always loved our communities and the people in our area ever since I was a child. I have always wanted to be someone who would be able to make a difference in the community by being there for others. As a firefighter in Highland, I get to serve the community I went to school in, but I do not get to serve the entire community. As your county coroner, I will be able to sorry, hang on. I will be able to get to serve and help the people of this county and be able to be there for them when they need help the most. I believe that the first job of the coroner is to protect and investigate to the fullest the death of the person. It is my job to assist law enforcement in the investigation and I feel that I am qualified to be your next coroner from the experience I have gained as a firefighter and a deputy coroner in Sharp and Fulton counties and through being raised around and working in death care. If elected, I will strive to make sure that every person in this county shall be treated with integrity and respect. I personally believe that when the coroner is called, you should be there to investigate the death. It should not be a means to profit. My training in the medical emergency management at coroner fields has taught me about the human anatomy and disease that affects the human body. I am required to perform continued education in both fields. I have my bachelor degree in, in general studies with an emphasis in history and criminology from Arkansas State University. I am certified through the Arkansas State Crime Lab as a meteorological death investigator, as well as in taking toxicology and blood samples. In addition, I am also a certified scuba diver trained in wreck diving. I am also a member of the Arkansas Coroner Association and Arkansas State Firefighters Association. I reside in Cherokee Village and am an alumni of the Phi Mu Alpha Cinefa. Symphonia Fraternity, as well as a member of the First Baptist Church in Cherokee Village. All right. Thank you.